Well, this has turned out to be a nice little day spot here in Gilead Maid. This uh, picnic area, day use area is really nice. Got a nice big grassy area. Some picnic benches under some shade of the tree there. Very nice. All right, it's time to move on. Well, at this point, I really don't know where I'm going. I'm just gonna go for a drive. Just beautiful country out here. All these mountains, all these trees, blue skies. Beautiful. into New Hampshire. Hello New Hampshire, goodbye Maine. I had a great time in Maine. Wish I could have stayed a little longer. Here we are, welcome to New Hampshire. Live free or die. We are headed back into the woods here, using this Forest Road 17, heading into the White Mountain National Forest again. I'm hoping to get a little streamside, riverside camp spot. And already feeling it warm up, it'd be nice to go for a little swim to cool off. Well, even though this is a narrow pull in here, I think I'm going to go ahead and snag it. Uh, my buddy drives a Honda Element, so I think we can both squeeze in here. And I took a walk down this little trail to the creek, river. There is a little wading area. We'll walk down there. So just a short little walk from the camp. Come out down here near the creek. It kind of opens up again, so there's this little secondary area to hang out. Very nice. There is a rock fire ring there. And a little bit of a pool here. So if it heats up, be able to cool off in the water there. Pretty nice. Well, I was able to get in the water and get washed up. It's very nice and refreshing. There's a little pool that's just deep enough to get fully submerged and uh, washed up and cooled off. So feeling good about that. So I'm back up here at the camp. It's just a very short little walk down to the water. You can see it almost through the trees through here. And this is what I've done to secure the spot. I do need to take off for a couple hours. I'm gonna go back down to the rest stop and uh, hang out, get a little video editing done while there's some sun on the solar panels since it's full shade in here. And there's a cell signal down there so I can do a little bit of online work and then connect up with my buddy Nate and see what he wants to do. If he wants to come right up here, explore town for a little bit. But this is what I did to secure the site. Typically don't do this. If I break camp, I just kinda, you know, fingers crossed that it's available when I get back. But I did notice that most of the other sites here are taken. So I just strung a string across between two trees, put a tarp up, left a few things that aren't of much value to me, just my water jugs and little table. Got my towel and bathing suit drying there. So hopefully that'll secure it and no one will mess with my stuff. Like I said, I rarely do that, but uh, I wanna make sure that we have a spot to camp tonight. There is a Walmart down the road, but I'd much prefer to be here than a Walmart parking lot, especially with that water to jump in and cool off. So I'm gonna get the uh, van uh, organized here and then probably head back down to that rest stop and hang out, see if uh, Nate shows up. Well, I've been hanging out down here at this rest stop. As you can see, it's an amazing view. A little hazy behind me, but uh, ran into the fellow nomad I was hoping to run into. Nate just showed up from Element Van Life. Minute, What's up, <laughs> What's Nate? Up, guys? How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> I got the wide angle on. You're in the shot. Yeah, You're in the shot. My lens is a lot tighter. My, my lens is only 24. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Well, it is hot today. I've got 100 degrees showing in the van. It's probably about 90 out here. So I got a, a camp up in the woods next to the river. We can go for a swim. Ready to do it? Let's go get some shade. Right on. Let's cool off. Let's get out of here. All right, guys, so when I was down at the rest stop waiting for Nate, I actually went across the street to a subway and got a subway sandwich. So now Nate is the van dwelling uh, chef here today. 
This is probably pretty, pretty out of my element, uh, you could say. <laughs> that's, too, that's too much of a pun, I'm sorry. So, uh, what do you got going on here? I'm doing the, uh, I think I took this from you, actually. It's okay. the, the tortilla pizzas here. Tortilla the, pizza. Yeah, the flour tortillas. and Can't beat it. Yeah, except nice. I accidentally bought the wraps that are too big. Right. So they don't really fit in my pants. You so can I'm, do a deep uh, dish. Yeah, I'm going to do a deep dish tortilla. Nice. I remember that stove. I still got mine stashed. I moved up to a double burner, but... Oh, jeez. Nice. So this is how you typically do it? Put yeah, down the tailgate. Really, well, except that, yeah, yeah, almost always, unless it's like raining out or it's like really cold out or something like yeah. that. Yeah. So, but, but you can't, you can cook inside if you want. Yeah, I can. I'll just open up all the windows and yeah. then I'm able to do it. But only if, like I said, if the weather's like really not cooperating. Right on. It's a nice night out. So. Very cool. Well, I better watch out. You're gonna take over the food, the cooking deal. I don't know about that. Normally, I'm the one eating the subway sandwiches. Oh, uh, it, uh, it's mixed. Some people say they love cooking in my videos. Some say they hate it. So yeah. we'll let them watch you for a while. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> All right, so I've resisted uh, butting in and trying to take over Nate's cooking here. He's, I've noticed, he's, he's, he's uh, learning. He's turned the flame down a little bit to not burn the tortilla. You gotta go low, low and slow. Yeah. Let it slow cook, let everything melt. Doing think, good, man, doing think, good. I think take three is gonna be the best one. So. <laughs> right <on. laughs> Well, we managed to get a little campfire going here. We neglected to get any firewood before it got dark, so I just kind of scrounged up a few sticks. Got something going. Got something to hang out and relax by till it burns out. So Nate's over here flying his drone. He's a little bit braver than I. I'm a little nervous to fly mine around trees like this, but he's doing a good job getting some good shots. Going up river. That's gonna look cool. It makes it back. Nice. Didn't mean to land on the giant one, but. <laughs> There's Nate filming his food. This is how YouTubers eat. <laughs> we can't just eat, we gotta actually film it too. So true. So we're just hanging out, made a couple egg sandwiches for us, and uh, just enjoying this morning. Uh, Nate just had his drone up. It was a little stressful for me, just even watching, so. How's the sandwich? It's amazing. Cool, man. Thank you, this is uh, as good as it looks on the videos. All right, huh?
Well, I'm on day two of hanging out with Nate here from Elevant Van Life. I know a lot of my viewers are probably familiar with Nate and his channel and uh, seeing his setup here. But for those of you that aren't, uh, Nate travels in a Honda Element. That's uh, where the Element Van Life comes from. So, Nate, this is your little Honda. What year is it? 2003. 2003. And I apologize for the bad lighting here. We're kind of like in the in the shade here and the sun's shining out there. But anyway, um, you've been in this living full time for how many? How uh, almost two and a half years, I guess. Two and a half years. Okay, so we got a little bit of a dynamic going here. I'm in this big thing and I feel like I have way too much stuff and it's cluttered. And you're living a very minimalistic, just kind of doing it. Yeah, I don't really need that much. You know, there's a couple things I miss having, but... Yeah, most part it's uh, cool. It's and uh, over the years, I've watched you kind of try different things out. Uh, you've gone with a 100 watt solar panel. Yeah, yeah, I got the rigid solar panel on there. Now I had a I've gone through a bunch of different solar panels. Right. Those of you've been following me will know, but yeah, this one works out really well. It uh, definitely is more efficient. Seems to not blow away. Stuff right. like that. So. Right on. And you, you, your main reason is you power a little Dometic CF18 yeah. fridge. Yeah, same fridge that you have, you know, same same deal. 100 amp hour battery. And got it. Keep it going. And you can see Nate carries the necessities. He's a surfer, so he's yeah. got his surfboard. We're up here in uh, New Hampshire and uh, he's got a surfboard still. Yeah, there's, there's no waves. You know, I got South Dakota license plates right. cruising around the Midwest with that thing, but it comes in handy sometimes. Yeah. You know? you gotta, well, I was just telling Nate the story of how I found his channel a couple of years back. A friend of mine tipped me off that you were in San Diego and you were, I think, being a, you were a surf instructor. Yeah. That was your job. So, uh, yeah, well, the next time you're in San Diego and I'm there, I'll have to get a surf lesson from you. I'll have to do it. Uh, you want to give us a little yeah, quick let's peek take here? Inside. Those of you that aren't familiar with Honda Elements, they have what they kind of call a suicide door. That back door opens the reverse way. So, you've got this nice big open area. You want to tell us a little about, about what you did? Yeah, I just have this little trifold. Uh seat here that kind of folds out into a bed i could put my have to put my foot front seats forward here all the way but okay yeah i put the guitar up on the dash and then this thing folds out it's almost like a twin size pretty okay much, and it's pretty very comfortable you know it's yep. worked out for so you've got time. pretty much the the bare necessities you've got your bed. bed there i have a little sink area that i actually haven't really been using i used to use it i had like a little faucet that i was using okay. but it just kind of you know holding gray water and stuff kind of got to be a problem it yeah kind of got smelly and Decided to do away with it. I do have a little uh, shower system underneath there. Okay. You can't, it's hard to see in, with see the, the light, but see the little hose coming up. It's just a big Kahuna shower system, and okay. you can fill that up with water and use it to rinse off and stuff. And then, Got it. So this is, I'll point to it. That actually is a little sink with the cover on. Yeah, it. I can take the cover off. And then that one. countertop flips up, so you can access your fridge, right? Yeah. yeah. Cool. It gives me that little extended space, so there I can is. cook inside. I know we talked about that yeah. the other day, maybe in my video or yours. I can't remember, but little storage closet looks like, and you can fit stuff on underneath and behind yeah. the bed as well. Yeah, I have full storage underneath. Uh, nice. Keep a little desk in there. That's my little wood platform that I can use to set up a desk in the front seat area. Okay. And I have videos all about all this stuff yeah. on the channel. But... Yeah, Nate's done a really good job with his YouTube videos and documentation. Great thorough uh, tours of his element build here. So if you guys are really interested in seeing the full setup, he's got a fairly recent van build. Uh, uh, or van tour i should say yeah so definitely recommend it check it out appreciate you giving us a sneak peek here thanks again man yeah it's been fun thanks for watching everyone i appreciate you joining me on my adventures just wanted to give another big thank you to nate for coming out and camping out had a blast uh, thanks for reminding me that i need to be playing guitar more i really enjoyed jamming out with you around the campfire there and also a side note to my viewers uh, i am going to be traveling in some pretty remote wilderness areas in upstate new york so cell service is going to be very spotty internet's going to be very hard to come by so i'm just going to upload when i can i just really feeling pulled to get out into the wilderness and unplugging for a little bit so I will be filming and making videos while I'm out there. There will just probably be a delay before I get into uh, civilization and have a cell signal to where I can upload. So I appreciate you guys hanging in there and following along. I hope you all are doing very well out there, and we'll see you very soon in the next video. Take care. Peace.